Hello everyone, welcome to Inthigyan. In this very very exciting video of trigonometric expressions where we are going to simplify today one very interesting expression with cosine. Expression is cos 1 degree times cos 3 degree times cos 5 degree up to cos 89 degree. We have to evaluate. So let's get started by writing the trig identity which I will use. It is called complementary identity cos of 90 minus theta which will be equal to sin theta. How it is? This is 90 degree 0 180 270 90 minus theta so in first quadrant. If it is 90 plus theta then second quadrant. 90 means cosine will be flipped into sine. Okay, first quadrant all ratios are positive. So it is no question of plus or minus. It would be always plus. Second identity is sine of 90 minus theta. Similarly, I will flip sine into cosine. So cos theta. Let's begin our expression. So I will write cos 1 degree times cos 3 degree times cos 5 degree up to cos 89 degree. So the missing cosine angles, I will take the product in the numerator. So I, I need to divide also. So I will write cos 1 degree, cos 2 degree, cos 3 degree already there, cos 4 degree I am introducing and so on up to cos 44 degree, cos 45 degree and then cos 46 at last we will be having cos 88 degree and the very last term is cos 89 degree. So I will divide by even angles with cosine. So I will write cos 2 degree because I multiplied so I need to divide cos 4 degree, cos 6 degree up to cos 88 degree. Done. Now target only on cos 45, the central term, the middle term exactly. So you can see that value we know 1 over root 2. But after that, there is cos 46 degree. So we can write this cos 46 as cos 90 minus 44 cos 88 as dot 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 cos 88 as cos 90 minus 2 degree cos 89 as cos 90 minus 1 degree okay so what i am going to do after cos 45 i am going to write every angle with sine and using this property, I will convert it into cosine into sine. Okay, my target is to write into sine form. So let's write cos 1 degree, cos 2 degree up to cos 44 degree. Then there will be cos 45 central and then cos 46 is sine 44. At last we will have cos 88, we will write sin 2, sin 2 degree, cos 89, sin 1 degree over cos 2, cos as it is unchanged, cos 2 degree, cos 4 degree, cos 6 degree and cos 88 degree. Now you can see, let me, let me change color. C. Sin 44, cosine 44 available there. Similarly, cos 43, sin 43. At last term, you can see sin 1 degree, cosine 1 degree. Don't you think we should write in this manner? Sin 1 degree, cos 1 degree. Put in bracket. Then I will write sin 2 degree, cos 2 degree and so on and then at last what we will have sin 44 degree 
in pairing cos 44 degree and which won't be paired that is sin or better is to write cos 45 degree denominator is as it is so cos 2 degree cos 4 degree up to cos 88 degree okay now it is obvious 2 sin a sin b sin 2a sin 2a is 2 sin a cos a so let me use that identity so i will write by multiplying 2 so i will write 2 sin 1 degree cos 1 degree 2 sin 2 degree cos 2 degree up to 44 2 sin 44 degree cos 44 degree central term was cos 45 which value we will put at last and in the denominator how many twos we have multiplied 1 2 3 4 up to 44 so i will write there 2 power 44 now denominator is unchanged cos 2 degree times cos 4 degree up to cos 88 degree now i will write sin 2 degree by using let me write that identity also sin 2a is 2 sin a cos a okay let's use that identity so what i will write sin 2 degree 4 degree 6 degree and at last i will write sin what i will write 88 degree and cos 44 45 degree divided by 2 power 44 and the bracket is cos 2 degree cos 4 degree now how it, it will be answered see it is denominator having cos 4 cos 2 cos 88 numerator is having sin 2 sin 4 sin 88 so should we write tan no we won't write tan how it will be we can write denominator as c again using same property this cosine 2 degree i can write cos 90 minus 88 this cos 4 cos 90 minus what i will write 86 and then last cosine 88 i will write cos 90 minus 2 so this will become sin 2 okay sin 2 degree sin 4 degree and last term will be sin let me write 88 this would be cos 90 minus theta sin third theta so this is 88 na? 88 86 and last value would be sin 2 cos 90 minus theta is sin theta so you can see it is in the reverse order but in product form so numerator and denominator are same except value cos 45 and 2 raised to the power 44 in the denominator so i can write this expression as this term i can cancel numerator and denominator okay so what is overall left that is cos 45 over 2 raised to the power 44 okay let's write the answer cos 45 as we know 1 over square root 2 over 2 power 44 so i can write this is 2 power 44 times 2 power half so we can write if in terms of power only then we can write 2 power 89 over 2 44.5 or 89 over 2 so this is our answer okay the result final answer for the expression now same question same question but this time sine terms are there what we should do as we have calculated cosine already this is 1 over 2 raised to the power 89 over 2 this is what we know 
if this question is asked i will only apply complementary property sin 90 minus theta so sin 1 is cos 89 sin 3 is cos 87 see it is same sin 89 is cos 1 before that sin 87 so cos 3 see it is same question cos 1 degree cos 3 in the reverse order only and last value is cos 89 degree so no need to calculate as you have already calculated just using complementary property you can convert sine into cosine and now it is answer will be same 2 raised to the power 89 over 2 i hope you like this video somewhere you will find it is meaningful thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video take care